Hello viewers. Today we are going to learn the four quadrants of a coordinate plane. For that, I will first draw the coordinate plane. Then we will learn how it is defined, how the four quadrants are, quadrants are defined. So, this is a coordinate plane. This is x-axis and this is y-axis. This side, on this side, as this is a number line, this is point zero. This is zero, zero. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in this side, on the right hand side, as in a number line, the numbers are positive. While on the left hand side, when we go, we go in the negative direction, the numbers are decreasing. So here minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6 and minus 7. This is called minus x axis. Similarly, this is another num number line which is crossing it at origin. When we go up, the, uh, the numbers are increasing. So this is positive here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And when we go down, the numbers are decreasing. So this are, these are negative here. Negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. And here we'll write minus y. And here we'll write minus x, x and y. So these are the four partitions or four quadrants in the uh, coordinate plane. So this is called the first quadrant. In the first quadrant, x is positive, x is positive and y is positive. So both x and y are positive in the first quadrant. In the second quadrant, this is called the second quadrant. Here x is negative because we are going on the left hand side. So x is negative and y is, we are going up. So this is positive. Now the third quadrant is here on this side. On the th in the third quadrant, both the numbers x as we are going on the left hand side, so x is negative and y as we are going down, so y is also negative. So both the numbers in the third quadrant are negative. Now this is the fourth quadrant. In the fourth quadrant, x is positive. As we are going on the right hand side, so it is positive while y is negative as we are going down. So this is how abscissa and ordinate signs get changed when we move from one quadrant to another or when, when we locate point on different quadrants of the coordinate plane. So I will show you how we mark the mark a point on the coordinate plane suppose we have been given to locate point p1 which is the abscissa and ordinate are minus 3 and 4 so from by looking at the number we can say that we are having x as negative so we will be going on the left hand side of the uh, coordinate plane and y is positive y positive means we are going up so left and up so this is this will be left and up so this point will be located point p1 will be located on the second quadrant of the coordinate plane so second quadrant point is p1 which is minus 3 and 4 so minus 3 is we will go minus 3 3 side 3 this side 1 2 3 and this is y is 4 so we will go up 1 2 3 4 so this point p1 will be somewhere here p1 
and then we'll look, put the point and we'll write my ordinate and abscess are minus 3 and 4. This is how we mark a point on the coordinate plane. This is our point P1. Now, if we have been given another point which is P2 which having 2 and negative 1. So 2 so our x distance is positive so we are going on the right hand side and negative 1 that means we are going down so 2 and minus 1 will come minus 1 will move 2 to the horizontal axis horizontal side so which is 2 and negative 1 so we will come here down one position down so this is our point P2 I'll circle it with red color yep so this position of P2, P2 which is in the fourth quadrant. Another example if both the quadrants are negative. Negative 1 and negative 1. Or we will take negative 2. So this we can say that both the, quad, both the abscissa and ordinate, both the distances are negative. That means it is in the third quadrant. I wrote it wrong. This is third quadrant. Third quadrant. So negative 1, we will go at one distance, one horizontal on the left hand side on the x-axis and negative 2 which is here down 2 markings down. So this is our point P3. This comes in the third quadrant. If both the numbers are positive for P4, let's take another example, P4 when both the numbers are positive 1 and 2. So this we can say that it is in the first quadrant because we will be moving one distance horizontally, one marking this and 2. So we will go up. So this is our point P4 which is in the first quadrant. So in this way we can locate the points and if we have been given for any four points on the coordinate planes so we'll if we'll join the points we can draw a quadrilateral there or a rectangle. So it depends on the question how the question goes if it is given to join or to make a parallelogram or a quadrilateral then we need to join the points or if we need to just mark the points we'll just mark the points and write its ordinate and abscissa. So this is how we define the quadrants on the on, of a coordinate plane. There are four quadrants. In the first quadrant, both x and y are positive. In the second quadrant, x is negative and y is positive. In the third quadrant, both the values of x and y distances are negative. In the fourth quadrant, x is positive and y is negative. This is how we define the quadrants. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like my videos.